As I was waiting in the uh, doctor's waiting room, I was looking through some magazines and I saw a picture of some zucchini that had been ro roasted in the oven. And I said, what a wonderful idea that is. <laughs> and all the zucchini had been cut lengthwise and very thin. I, I really didn't get a chance to look at the rest of the recipe. It looked like there was cheese there and tomato sauce, olive oil. And so I decided this morning that I would experiment with this. Um, I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but it's kind of exciting. Anyway, maybe sometimes you've had an occasion where you've seen a picture of a beautiful arrangement of food or something that really looks absolutely lovely. You didn't get a chance to really see the recipe or you don't know where the recipe really came from. And so, you know, maybe you've had to go ahead and experiment also. This is actually many of the recipes in my Pop It in the Toaster Oven cookbook were done that way. Um, I just, I saw something that I really liked, thought other people would like it, and decided to test it for the Toaster Oven cookbook. So I'm actually sort of pretty much winging it here. Uh, this is going to be definitely research and development. Um, what I have assembled here, I, I cut the zucchini up. Isn't that beautiful? I love that shape. And then over here I have, I've, I've cut up some mushrooms um, that I'm going to put on top. And that's probably, I say, say maybe a half a cup. And a couple tablespoons of green pepper, which I think I saw in the picture as well. And then I'm going to add some tomato sauce, some powdered garlic, and I have some really lovely Parmesan cheese that I'm going to be adding as well. I'll sprinkle that on the top. And then I also have some salt and pepper that I'm going to be adding as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put probably two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan first. And then I'm going to put in a layer of zucchini. Um, while I'm talking, actually, I am preheating my toaster oven to 425. I do remember that that was the temperature uh, in the recipe. So um, two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan and then I'm just going to start layering these zucchinis and I noticed in the picture some of them were overlapped a little so I would think that that's probably okay. Um, what do I have here? Um, I think I cut up two zucchinis, two small ones. You don't want them too large because that shape is so nice. Now I'm just going to put some of this. Actually, this is a pasta sauce. It's a, just a kind of generic three cheeses pasta sauce that I like. It's a, just a store brand. Uh, I'm like, what, three, ta maybe four tablespoons all together here. Now the mushrooms. Pretty easy so far. Oh, it comes out. And then the green peppers. Okay, and then um powdered garlic. That should be a nice addition, I think. Some salt. I like salt. I have some freshly ground pepper. I think freshly ground pepper is always... You know, I think I just might drizzle a little more olive oil on this, too. This is a cold-pressed um, olive oil. For, um, I, I prefer that. I think it's a better quality. And it's really olive oil. I mean, it's not like extra virgin. And I think the flavor is better. I hear it's better for you. I don't know. But now here's my Parmesan cheese. You could probably use just the, the Parmesan cheese out of the can. Although I think if you go to the deli and get just the better quality Parmesan cheese, it makes all the difference in the world. And this is a better quality. It comes in a bag, doesn't come in a can. And I didn't 
see whether it was going to be covered or not, but I'm going to cover this with foil. I actually save my foil because it can be used over and over again if it's, if it's clean, if I can clean it. And for many of the pans that you use in a toaster oven, the lids that come with a pan don't fit in the toaster oven, but practically every pan will fit if you use foil. And it's a good seal. Temperature, so pop it in the toaster oven. You've probably noticed if you've seen my demos before, I have a Cuisinart. I tell you, I've had this Cuisinart for a long time. I mean, I'm saying probably eight years, 10 years. It is a convection oven as well, although usually I don't use the convection but it is an excellent toaster oven, highly recommend it. Keypad, timer, and speaking of time, in this case, I'm thinking it's gonna be probably about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I will um, test it after that time and I'll keep you posted. So it's been 30 minutes and I took the zucchini out of the oven and I'm looking at it right now and everything is cooked very very nicely the cheese is melted the sauce has sort of uh, gone around all the zucchini pieces so it looks really good it smells wonderful now though what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it back in for i think i'm going to try another 15 minutes uncovered because the thing about the toaster oven is you can um all of these juices and everything can be concentrated and the juices in the zucchini can be concentrated and also the, the cheese can get a little back into the toaster oven. It's still at 425. Uncovered for 15 minutes. I took the zucchini out of the toaster oven. This has been 15 minutes later. And you can see that just by that 15 minutes, actually it was about 12 minutes, that the zucchini has concentrated. The moisture in the vegetable is actually more concentrated. And the cheese has crisped up nicely. It smells just wonderful. So the true test of this, of course, is to give it a taste. Okay, so here's my taste test for the oven-baked zucchini with cheese on top. Everything looks really well done. Oh, yum. Mm. Yeah. The tomato sauce, the cheese, the mushrooms, the peppers, zucchini are all beautifully cooked, really melded together. Nice. Really fun Absolutely. experimenting this way. And if you have a toaster oven, it makes it even more fun, I think. This is a dish that if I do another version of pop it in the toaster oven, I would definitely add this. I can't imagine there's a lot of calories to it. It's very nutritious. It doesn't really take a long time for anything oven baked like this. So <clears throat> give this recipe a try and let me know what you think.